Hey guys, and welcome back to the show. Today we're going to be installing the Quadrajet on Old Dale, so stay tuned. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of this episode, I want you guys to check out the link, the first one in the description box below. That's our new podcast for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, where we're taking our live stream from Thursday nights and we're turning it into a podcast. So if you don't know what the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is, I'm going to put a link right up here, and you guys can go back and take a look at our most recent episode and enjoy Car Talk with myself and Grant Tommy, who is Street Six Fan, and his link is the second one in the description box below. It's just a bunch of car guys talking cars, and we have a lot of fun, so I hope you guys can tune in, subscribe to myself and Street Six Fan, and enjoy a little bit of car talk. So one of the things that we're gonna do before we take the old Edelbrock off of the truck is we are going to just kind of you know run through the gears, a stop, um, on the side of the road we're going to go up through the gears and we're going to see just how this thing responds to normal everyday driving and maybe a little bit of hot rodding then we're going to swap over to the quadrajet and we'll do the same thing hopefully it won't take a whole lot for us to tune that thing in because you know what i'm not a carb tuner but there's a lot of guys out there who say if you can get one of those quadrajets dialed in well you've got yourself probably the world's best carburetor but on the other hand there seems to be a lot of conversation on some Facebook threads where I've posted about switching this thing over. And, well, there's a lot of you guys out there who absolutely hate the Quadrajet. Quadra junk, Quadra bog, whatever you guys want to call it, uh, they've all said it, and it's out there for the world to see how badly you hate the Quadrajet. So I'm just out here right now. I'm going to grab a quick bite to eat, and then we'll head out on the highway, and we'll do a quick test on this Edelbrock and then we'll head back to the shop and get it swapped out with the Quadrajet. So as we get ready to kind of pick up speed here on the highway, a couple of things that are noteworthy is, depending on what you have for a transmission on your classic car, is gonna depend on how well you perceive your carburetor to be working. Now with my truck, I've got the 700R4 transmissions, which means I've got four gears and an overdrive. So when you go to step on this thing, you're going to feel it go through the gears as well as lock up. And some cars with three speeds might be a little bit more responsive than some other vehicles. So just keep that in mind when you're driving. Your car is going to react differently than my truck is. So I'm going to pull over here and then we're going to go to a from a dead stop to basically like a zero to 60. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I've got my app here. That's my zero to 60, and we're gonna log it on Dale. We're gonna do that with this on the uh, Edelbrock, and then we'll switch over to the Quadrajet once we get that done, and we'll do the same basic test. So, are you ready to roll? We'll wait till there's no cars coming, and then we'll do it. Okay, so we've got the zero to 60 done, and according to the app, it said we did it in seven seconds. So I'm gonna do one more, and then we'll compare the two, and then, well, we'll do two runs for the Quadrajet. So let's try this one again. Yeah, according to that, it said 9.95 seconds, and I did spin the tires, so we didn't get off to a good start. But uh, let's get back to the shop. I'm going to eat my lunch, get that carburetor swapped over, and then we'll try it all over again.
Okay, so we've got the Quadrajet back on this engine, and uh, I shouldn't say back on this engine, back on the new engine. And we had to do some modifying with that adapter because it just wasn't exactly what we were looking for. But it's on there and everything seems to be in place. The only thing that we couldn't use is the choke simply because there's no place to mount it. And it doesn't have an electric one. So we're getting ready to fire it up. So uh, let's see if this thing's going to start. running on its own now and uh, it's amazing how much better they run when you tighten up the bolts that hold the actual carburetor down. Go figure, who knew? Anyways, we're getting ready to put the air breather back on and take it out for a quick spin. See how it works. So if it's one thing that I've learned already just from the few minutes that it's been running, um, probably about 10 minutes now, it is warmed up but she's cold blooded without a choke. As soon as I put it in gear it just wants to stall. but. The throttle seems to be very responsive so far just sitting here, but let's take it out on the highway and see how she works. See if we can't get that quadrabog noise going. It's right there. It's uh, it's working really good. Anyways, I'm going for a quick haircut, and then we're going to get it out on the highway, and we'll try it again. We'll do the zero sixties and compare it with the uh, Edelbrock. So we'll be right back with a haircut. Okay, so we're here on the side of the highway one more time. We're going to do a couple of pulls, 0 to 60, and see how much better or responsive this truck is with the Quadrajet than it was with the Edelbrock. So, let's get to it. Well, we're going to call that one a fail, simply because it kind of backfired a little bit. We'll try it again here. eight seconds and that's on the Quadrajet and that was a pretty good uh, start I didn't spin my tires too much and uh, the only thing is is I did load up the converter just a little bit we're gonna try it again and the reason why I got to load up the converter is because this thing is idling way too low when it's in gear so we'll try this again we're gonna save that and we'll go one more time
<laughs> and that was 8.95 seconds. Uh, created a little bit of a smoke show back there behind me. Uh, we'll do it one more time just to uh, try and get some consistent numbers. I'll try not to load up on that torque converter too much and uh, see where it goes from there. seconds flat so I guess what we're learning is is that I'm having a hard time not spinning the tires this quadrajet does seem a lot more responsive uh, on the throttle therefore the reason why I think I'm spinning my tires so much a uh, little bit of fine-tuning and uh, we'll probably get her down and we've got to figure out what we're gonna do about that choke because she's cold-blooded anyways We've got a little bit of a comparison of the before and after the Quadrajet, so I think we're going to play with this for a little while, dial it in, and see where it takes us, and then we'll do a uh, kind of a little bit of an update on it, maybe in a week's time. So, having said all that, we're going to get ready to close out this video. And even though I said I was going to close out this video, it wasn't until now, when I'm editing it, that I realized I did not do so. So a couple of things to note is that on Friday we did manage to get the choke hooked up and it is working. Uh, not as well as an electric choke, but uh, nevertheless it is working. And uh, we are fine tuning and dialing in this Quadrajet. So hopefully in the long run it will be good for us so that we can uh, you know, make it a better daily driver. And another thing, based on the previous video that we did just before this one, I'll put that link right up here where we talked about having a problem with the... Uh, car or the truck trying to stall out when I pull it in gear or when I turn the AC on is a lot of guys in the comments have mentioned the idle or a throttle solenoid which is something that you attach to the carburetor that uh, just basically bumps up the idle when things get a little bit too low so I've got one of those coming we're gonna do a video on that installing that and making sure that that's gonna work properly and again fine-tune this uh, Rochester Quadrajet so that it's working really good and so far so good Having said all that, guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll do it again real soon.